Okay, good job, mate. Really well done. That was a fantastic drive. As we wind down from the excitement of qualifying, here's a look at your top three. De Ruvela, Schwartzman and Marcus Armstrong. With qualifying complete, all that remains is the main event. We'll be live and... It's finally here, the day we've all been waiting in anticipation for, race day. The Autodromo Jose Carlos Pache circuit has been home to many exciting events in motorsport history, and I have no doubt today will be just as memorable. This high altitude anti-clockwise circuit is made up of just 15 corners and offers plenty of DRS opportunities, but not as much opportunity to overtake as you would expect. The circuit is known for its very technical sector two, which is sandwiched between the circuit's two long straights, the latter of which is considered to be one of the longest full throttle stretches you'll find. As we await the start of another hugely anticipated Formula 2 race, I'm joined again by Davide Valsecchi. Davide, as a former GP2 champion, can we get some insight to what is running through these young drivers' heads as they sit out on the grid? Ciao, Alex. It's a pleasure to be here. There are nervy moments. There is no doubts about that. Mental strength is the key to remaining calm and focusing on the upcoming race. Formula 2 is so competitive, and all of these drivers know that they are going to be pushing each other all of the way. In these sports, you have to be able to control your nerves. We are nearly ready for the start of today's race, but in the meantime, let's take a look at the grid. J.N. Deruvela lines up on pole position, and it's Robert Schwartzman in P2. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Armstrong, Tictum, Mick Schumacher, and Aitken, Matsushita, Giotto, Eilot, Nikita Mazepin, P.K. Sonoda, Felipe Dragovic, and Lungard, Sato, Alesi, Samaya, and Artem Markalov. Joe, Galeo, Delatrat, and Roy Nisani completes the grid. And now it's time to head down to the track.
Done it. Well done. Brilliant stuff from Carlin today. What a superb victory. And I have to wonder, Davide Valsecchi, just what set them apart from the competition here? This race, this week, was about one thing and one thing on. Consistency. Anyone can be quick for just one lap, but there's a difference between that and being quick every lap, over and over and over. If you can do that, if you can gain ground when your opponents make mistakes, but then not make mistakes on your own, you can just push and push. As we can see, it's time for the podium, and I can see the Carlin team underneath our commentary box going crazy as their driver walks out. It was a great win, and it means a great deal to this team. And so, driver of the day then, Davide Valsecchi, who do you think you'd go for? Let's give it to Marcus Armstrong. That was a quality drive from start to finish. He can be proud of that one. After all this drama, you'd be mad not to join us for the next race. We're...